Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. We use a shared secret key in a symmetric encryption algorithm to encrypt and decrypt messages. But how to distribute the secret key between two parties? By email, snail mail, or trusted query. All these methods are slow, insecure, and impractical over the internet, the insecure channel where most of our communications are to be encrypted. Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange Protocol provides a radically new method of distributing cryptographic keys that helped solve the key distribution, a fundamental problem in cryptography. Today, I will introduce DHKE and demonstrate how it works with mixing colors. Diffie Hellman Key Exchange is named after Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman. DHKE protocol allows two parties that has no prior knowledge of each other to jointly create a shared secret key. Then the secret key can be used for encrypted communications over a public network. Here is the general idea of DHKE. Each party generates a key pair, a public key and a private key. They exchange their public keys, which means Alice gets Bob's public key and Bob gets Alice's public key. Then Alice combines her private key with Bob's public key and she gets a secret key. In the same manner, Bob combines his private key with Alice's public key and he gets a secret key. Their secret keys are the same and it is their shared secret key which can be used later as the key for their symmetric algorithm. Diffie-Hellman key exchange is about public key exchange, not the secret key exchange. They calculate the secret key separately, but the result should be the same. In the following several minutes, I will demonstrate how DHKE works with mixing colors. Step 1. Both Alice and Bob agree to choose a publicly accepted color, yellow. It is a public common color they both agree to use. The color yellow is in the public domain and anyone can see it. Then Alice chooses blue as her private color and Bob chooses his private color, red. Private color are only known by their creators. Step 2. Both Alice and Bob create their mixed colors. Alice mix her private color blue with the color yellow and she gets the mixed color green. Green is like her public key. In the same manner, Bob mix his private color red with the color yellow and he gets the mixed color orange. Orange is like his public key. Keep in mind that in an asymmetric key algorithm or public key algorithm, a private key and a public key are created in pairs. The private key is only known by its creator and the public key can be known by anyone. Step 3. Alice and Bob exchange their mixed colors. At this step, they exchange their mixed colors over an insecure communication channel. Last step. Alice and Bob create a shared secret color separately. At this step, 
Both Alice and Bob mix their private colors with the other side mixed colors, and they acquire the secret color, brown. In summary, these two parties have no prior knowledge of each other. DHK is a method for securely exchanging cryptographic keys over insecure channels like the internet. DHK uses idea of one-way function. We can easily mix the colors and obtain a new color, but the opposite operation is almost impossible. There's no way to separate the mixed colors back to the original color components. DHK is not used for encryption and decryption. Instead, it's about creating a shared secret key for encryption and decryption. DHK is not about symmetric secret key exchange. Instead, it is about creating symmetric secret key together with exchanging their public keys. In my next video, I will talk about the math behind DHKE and how it works in simple math. Stay tuned.